Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Project Goes on 3 Captain Book playthrough. As we can see, I am in Erebus again. I swore I would never come back here, but I am trying to find a wand of preservation. And as we can see, there are like bugs and stuff that are trapped in this amber, and apparently you can find one that has the wand trapped in them. So that is what I'm looking for, but unfortunately, not in that one. I think that is the fourth one I have found. As we can see, quite a lot of amber there. So yeah, basically just flying around looking for amber. Apparently they spawn more in underground jungle, what we're in, which is kind of annoying because it's hard to fly around in the underground jungle. But uh, yeah. Just trying to see if we can find this wand of preservation for this achievement. Uh, I haven't found a wand anywhere else, or I haven't found the amber anywhere else, although apparently it does spawn anywhere. Um, I've only found it in the jungle biome. So, yeah, I'll just kind of keep looking and. Oh, there's another one. seen anything in there no dang it so yeah as we can see a lot of randomness with this so oh there's another one wow i found like three like really fast so that's kind of cool but yep no wand so we can see there's like a little fly in there i think you can break it and it flies away <laughs> so all right we'll keep looking and come back and we are back and look what we found so it just appears in the thing and apparently when you break it you should get the the wand all right so there is the wand of preservation i think it was four more i think i went to four more things after the Uh, the one I recorded at, so it didn't take too long. I think overall it took about 30 minutes of flying around. It is, it's pretty fast flying around with the uh, infinity armor. So yeah, thought I would show that. And I'm not gonna throw that in there. There's no point. I don't think I need any of that stuff anymore. So. There we go. Wand of Preservation. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Next quest, though, <laughs> or achievement, I'm a little worried about. You use the Wand of Preservation to capture all Erebus mobs? Like, what? <laughs> no? <laughs> Isn't that like hundreds of mobs? Like, huh? I don't know about that one. All? Erebus mobs? I don't know about that. We'll see. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I don't know about that. I don't know about this one. These two, I don't know about. And that one, eh, I don't know what that does. But uh, all right. We got that, though, at least. So a couple more we can do. Uh, I want to get the industrial turbine built. So last episode, we went and built the boiler, which is kind of cool to see. I like it. I kind of like how you can see like the water and the steam. I think that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, can we throw this in a bucket? Because I want to put the steam in. Yeah, steam in a bucket. <laughs> but I want to put it in here is basically what I want to do. I'll leave that there for for now. There we go. All right, in unlimited steam. So we don't really need this anymore. Uh, I wanted this for the the turbine. What does it say? It just says construct it. Doesn't say actually use it or anything. But uh, all right, I think that uh, maybe not turbine. Yep, turbine casing, turbine valve, turbine controller. No, that's nuclear craft. All 
All right, the only things I'm noticing was turbine blade, mechanism, generators. All right, here we go. So there's a, re oh, that's the fusion one, I think, yeah. All right, so probably need these. Um, I'm going to have to, I have no idea how this is built. I don't think there is any way other than looking at a guide or a tutorial. Um, see how this is built so let me cut here and um i don't think we need any of this stuff anymore let's uh probably that turbine blade none of this stuff is i mean this stuff is actually really easy to make not that we need to make it. We have EMC, but I was just kind of noticing that. All right, uh, let me cut here and welcome back. All right, we are back, and uh, I kind of have an idea of what we need to do here. So let's get started. I think I only need, like, one of those. But I do need a bunch of those. I think it was, like, 12. I need... Saturating these, I think it was, I want to say nine. Turbine blades. I think it is eight. Electromagnetic coil. So there's a couple other things that I didn't realize uh, we needed. Rotational. Complex, I think you just need one of those. Pressure dispenser, you can need eight. For the size I'm doing, obviously they can, I'm just doing like a regular small kind of one. And uh, turbine. Um, four, I think. All right, so probably gonna need more turbine casings. I don't know how many, but basically just going to do a five by five. I love how I'm kind of doing it like <laughs> between the uh, Gaia Bylons. All right, so that, and then we will do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is that. Now all the like the frame needs to be these turbine casings, which that is pretty typical of like multi blocks. Can't usually put stuff like on the the things. Although that one did, I did do that there. So maybe maybe I'm crazy. All right, so. I th Trying to remember. I watched a thing and I'm already kind of forgetting. All right, so there is saturating things, and then I think it is these electro magnetic coils. And a rotational thing goes in the middle that is surrounded by pressure dispensers. And turbine vents around that side. And I hope this is right. <laughs> I'm uh actually don't know. And turbine rotors go down here. Two four. we go got the eight turbines on there then uh need one turbine valve or the steam i think i think they're i don't know if they're you they don't know how to get power out of it to be honest is it the turbine valve does that i don't know turbine valve get power out of it i mean technically it doesn't matter 
But uh, I think uh, structural glass is that. Yeah, structural glass. Should have done down there. Structural glass. We'll uh, we'll do glass on the outside so we can see if this is actually running. What it looks like. So I think, in theory, <laughs> when I uh, put the last glass, this should form. All right? Or is there? Did we? No, that was nuclear craft, right? I just saw the sun. Was like, wait, isn't there a controller? I wish these had controller blocks so you can kind of see. All right, did something wrong? Nope, I didn't. Didn't fill this up yet. Need some more. Oh, no, I got two stacks. All right, is this the last one? Please form. That's not where I wanted that to form. <laughs> All right, please form. Yay! All right, so there we go. Perform. Capacity 640 or 6,400 6, buckets. Max flow. That. Um, all right, so we have this. Um, I guess we'll do. I mean, it's technically a, a fluid, right? Would this work? Would a fluid transposer work? I mean, that's going to look silly, but. Translocator. Trans. No, trans. Locator. Man, I always think it's transposer. What? There is a transposer something, isn't there? That's a thing, right? In modded Minecraft that I keep thinking. Alright, so. That, that. Alright, transposers are going there. <laughs> Dang it. That would have been funny though. Uh not every not every um block can have a transposer on it. Um is there I need like an infinite. No ender IO fluid conduits isn't that fast. Um does thermal have it has like infinite RF, but it doesn't have Limitless, oh, look at this. Limitless when pressurized. What, what does pressurize mean? I have no idea. What does pressurize mean? Well, that's limitless. I mean, that's good, right? I've never used these before. Super, seminar. Limitless translate when pressurized? I don't know. <laughs> Do we need like a servo? Doesn't isn't a servo kind of like I don't know. I feel like that is limiting it, right? How is it? I should check how these work. It's quite a bit of power, isn't it? Although it's not spinning. Oh, there it goes. Yay! It's working. Yeah, I want to like. That's not very good flow rate. Let's see if we can get better. I mean, I could do. I'm actually kind of curious. What happens if I. What happens if we put this in the creative chest? Are we going to like explode our world? <laughs> Will that create more? It does. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, yeah, let's do, I'm going to do three and see what happens with these laminar things. I feel like I'm missing something though with these, it says limitless, but these are definitely not limitless with the, but maybe that's just, I don't know. All right, well, it's definitely higher, right? No. No, it's about the same. Even with the three, it's like the same. All right, 
let's do ender fluid. Let's try this. I'm just curious. And uh Man, I wish uh I wish those translocators worked. What does this do? Yeah, well, that's much faster. <laughs> so uh, let me look. I'm going to look that up really quick. I want to see if these super laminar flu ducts, if I'm doing that wrong. All right, we are back. It does look like the, uh, the thermal stuff is. Um, it's. Um, I'm going to bottleneck by the servos, which is a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, if you add more of these, they each pump out the 3200. So yeah, I was just kind of testing. I wasn't quite sure how these worked, if there was like a limit for the inserting. But yeah, we're actually producing, what is that, 274,000? <laughs> that is pretty funny. Um, I'm going to try one last thing. And that is the ultimate pressure tube. I think this is even faster. Nope. Dang it. I did the wrong one. <laughs> Dang it. I did the wrong one. I keep, keep screwing that up. All right. Let me do that again. It's so annoying, these things, because you can't do the... Um, Like the EMC just gets like, it's all messed up. So I have to like do it manually. So, pipe. All right, so this is way, way higher than I was thinking. Look at that. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So annoying. Do that. There we go. Can configurator. And this is, we don't even need to do this, but I just wanted to see. Shift. Yes. There we go. Well, that's going fast. <laughs> yep. There we go. That's pretty funny. What do those have? Ultimate mechanical bike. 600, 64,000 millibuckets. Is that what it is? Yeah. 64,000 millibuckets per tick. Um... Does this work? Let's see if I can. Yep, <laughs> they do stack. All right, that's cool. That's good to know. Well, there we go. We're producing 5 million RF <laughs> attack um, with the ultimate mechanical pipes. Those are really strong. I don't remember where else I was using fluids. That I was trying to, was it? I don't remember. Somewhere I was using fluids and I probably could have done with the ultimate mechanical pipes would have been much faster. Ew, so they turn off when, that, that's the thing. All right, well, anyway, um, I don't know. We don't really need to have this running at all. So I will, well, I'll just leave it. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually. Yeah, dumping Nexus doesn't work. That just, uh, it's the power that's got kind of turned off. But anyway, that is pretty cool that we got to see these. Normally, you would build these and then attach it to that. But, uh, yeah, we have the creative tanks. Anyway, uh, let me cut here after we do this. And, um, yeah, we'll come back. And we are back. So we got ahead and... Got this one. Figured let's go ahead and knock this one out ish. <laughs> like I said, I'm not gonna do every single dimension possible. That that's kind of crazy. Um, but I figured why not do like the main ones that we go to? Like the nether and the deep dark and stuff. I can throw down a bunch, but I'm not gonna throw down like dozens of these. Um, I did a little bit of testing, and I think all you need is a waystone and a warp stone, I, I think. Basically, you just put it down, 
Twilight Forest. And then you put down another one. That's uh right there. Home, I guess. And then it does that. And I think if you just right click on it. Yeah. And then you can just go to wherever. So I can just place these down kind of wherever. And uh yeah. <laughs> I mean, these are a, a bit gated. So you can't do it very early on, but I mean, it's uh That's pretty powerful actually. Um I can't remember how this thing works. There we go. All right. So basically, I'm just going to throw these down in a whole bunch of dimensions. Um I don't know what this is, Lordcraft. Can you not, can you not place blocks in here? Ew. It doesn't look like you can actually place, doesn't let you modify anything. I wonder if we could do, is the whole dimension like this? I actually don't know. Uh, let's see if we can, because if you can't place any blocks here, then <laughs> that uh, achievement Yep, you can't place a single block here. All right, well, there we go. That uh, <laughs> it is physically impossible to place a waystone here. I'll try one more time. Nope. So, as we can see, <laughs> this uh, achievement is well i guess that would be technically it would be impossible so i mean i guess that doesn't <laughs> i guess that doesn't quite make it but uh all right i'm gonna place some more of these down and i think i want to i'm gonna just do this in the main ones like i said and uh yeah i think that will suffice uh, keep dark because otherwise it's just basically all right so oh that's a thing you need levels i didn't know that good thing i have a, a way back although i could have just stepped on the deep dark all right these actually require level i didn't realize they required experience interesting um i don't remember where Oh, you don't even need this. What does this do then? What does this warp stone do? You can just right click on this. All right, well, <laughs> I thought you need, I could have sworn you needed the thing to click on it, the warp stone. Oh, well. Okay, so what does the warp stone do? No clue. Bye. Of course, when I want it to flow off the edge, it doesn't. All right, let me cut here and, uh, We'll come back. All right, we are back. I've done a bunch of the dimensions. I think that's we're going to, I'm just going to call it there. <laughs> I'm not going to do every dimension. Um, close enough. I know it's not technically finishing, but you know, maybe I will. Um, we do have infinite, um, we do have like infinite fuel and stuff, but that is just so time consuming going to every single dimension but uh transfer an item through portality portals in every dimension possible that chain all the way back to your own base all right well that is a little bit different if if that only wants me to do that i can do that if it's like limiting it to four i can do that Instead of every single space dimension. All right. Um, yeah, I'll probably do those four since it specifically says that there. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. We'll claim this one. I won't claim this one yet. Um, 
Oh, there's the turbine. Since I can't, I can't undo this <laughs> if I if I claim it. So, all right. Um, also, um, I started to kind of think how I want to deal with these seeds, these ten, ten, ten seeds, and um, I'm gonna try something out. I think I still have some over here I haven't done. Yeah, sure. Why not? Wither skeleton seeds. Um, that have a thing. Yeah. I built out a little bit of a platform here, and basically I'm thinking I'm just going to do long rows of the things, and hopefully with speed and um, tons of the sprinklers, this will work. Now these things can get really laggy. That's my only concern with this. Um, I'll try though. We'll do one row. As we can see, I kind of set it up for three. I don't think it's the actual, it's not, it's not the actual sprinklers that do it. It's the, all the block updates from the growing, the growing crops, I think is the issue. And technically, oops, I went a little far. <laughs> I think it's three over this time. All right, let's do the, we'll do the middle one as well. This is a bit tedious, but hopefully it's not too many clicks in, the, uh, <laughs> in your headphones. Yeah, so we'll do this and then I'll throw down the imaginary time and we'll see if it lags my world to death. Um, I may possibly do it in a different dimension or uh, yeah, I don't know yet. So this does do, all right, let's try, let's try this. So crop sticks. So basically just need to, well, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> it breaks it if it already has one on it. I just want to. Probably could have gotten this set up before I started recording, but right. I don't even know if it needs to be that long, to be honest. I just want to, I want to give it a go and see what happens if I do all these sprinklers and those imaginary time block things. Almost there. So imaginary time blocks. Try this. I think these need to be right next to each other, but if I do the like long rows of this, I'm hoping that like <laughs> I think it's the it only oops. I think it only does the one next to it, I think. If I read that. I remember reading that. It has to be adjacent to it for this to work. Dang it. Mobs will spawn on that. There we go. Alright, so should we try this out? What happens when I place this down? Does my world gonna crash? Ah, they don't have power. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Um... How do I want to do this? Um, what would be the easiest way? I don't want to do. We just do. I can. I mean, is this ridiculous? All right. Well, that's kind of what I was hoping would happen, and it is. It does appear to be happening. I don't think we need as many imaginary time blocks. I don't feel like I'm lagging either, which is a good sign. All right, well, there we go. <laughs> what do we think? Do we think this is a 10, 10, 10? If it's not, I'm gonna be sad. 
seed analyzer. Um, let's put it off on end, I guess. Seed analyzer. All right, is this the 10, 10, 10? I feel like it should be. <laughs> uh, I should probably see, yeah, 10, 10, 10. Um, where do we think, should I try this one? Like, we probably don't need that entire thing. Ten ten ten. All right, so it got to 10, 10, 10 quicker than I thought it would. Like, much, much quicker than I thought it would. Let's see. All right, so right around about there. All right, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that uh, I'll probably maybe it's like, let's see, is this a 10, 10, 10? I mean, that is pretty easy. I do need to get a whole bunch of the seeds. Yeah, that's 10, 10, 10. So I think it's about here is what. Yeah. To like here. Let's throw a. Yeah. It's about there, I think. It's just less work for me to do. Um, all right. But uh, yeah, there we go. There is <laughs> some 10 10 Zen seeds. And uh, I guess we'll just have to. I mean, that. Once I get in a groove here, like, it's actually not that bad. It's just thousands of clicking of crop sticks, which is kind of annoying. I wonder if there's a way to... I wonder if there's a way to automatically do that. I don't know. I'll do a little testing. Maybe the mechanical user will place those. I can do a whole bunch of mechanical users or something. But I'm pretty sure that will, like, break the crop. But, uh, all right. So that... That's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. But, uh... Yeah, we'll come back. Um, I will go. I will go and do a four more dimensions. I'll do these dimensions um, for this quest as well. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and uh, yeah, I would like to get this fusion reactor up. This will probably take a whole episode in itself. These two. I don't know what this is, but uh, probably fill an ultimate storage or something. But uh, yeah, we'll come back and. Uh, Check that out. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a good one.